it's 22 on Monday. As always, I'm tired. Um, I've just had my breakfast. I mean, technically, it's lunchtime, I guess, but I didn't come downstairs till about quarter past one. I've been awake since 12. I didn't go to sleep till nearly six. Um, so, I'm very tired. Apparently, the plumber is coming around at three. So, I need to do a quick tidy in my bedroom and bathroom because obviously he's going in my bathroom and he has to walk from my bedroom it's not going to take me long um, I'm going to be cleaning the shower though um, he's coming to look at the shower but the shower glass thing needs cleaning it's needed cleaning for a little while so I'm going to do that I was going to do it later on anyway but I'm going to do it now it's a few hours later and I have Cleaned my bathroom, cleaned my shower, tied my room, not that it was really messy, and the plumber has been, and I'm going to go and do some post, it's going up for 4 o'clock, I'm not going to get it done for 5, for the 5 o'clock box down the road from here, so my aim is to get it done for about 5 at the latest, or just after, have a shower, not wash my hair because I'm going to do that tomorrow um, get ready and then go to the sorting office across town well it's in the next town and get it in the box for quarter past six I actually thought it was um, ten past six the box and then I had to rush the Monday last week I think it was Thursday um, got there about seven minutes past thinking oh yeah i got here three minutes before and i looked at the box and it was quarter past six collection so um i could have gave you here at six if i wanted um i'm not going to risk it because the other day i did get stuck in traffic and it would touch a go whether i was going to get there for ten past so i want to try and leave here at ten to six that gives me 25 minutes i mean if i can leave earlier the better so that is what i'm going to do now I know I didn't finish my vlog last night. I ended up doing bits and pieces around the house, tidying and sorting things out around the house. And I watched a lot of TV. I watched The Force Essex, The Force Manchester, which is one of my favourites. Um, then random stuff. I was watching stuff on YouTube. And yeah, that's about it. I went up to bed about four o'clock because that's my rule to be in my room for four. And it was about six o'clock when I went to sleep and I kept waking up. It was driving me mad. So that's what I was doing last night. Um, I've edited a lot for this channel. Um, I edited the rest of the 26. I've got today's vlog, tomorrow's and the day after finished and scheduled, obviously, because today's is up. Um, and then I, I was looking through because I thought, oh, I'll be on to Sunday the 27th. Nope, I found a 40 minute clip from Saturday the 26th. That's already after I've edited 40 minutes of footage from during the day. So what I was thinking, I don't know. I feel like I've lost my mind. Because I didn't think I had any more um, clips left for that day. Or I didn't think any, I had any long ones left, but I did. And I got about 20 minutes through editing that and my dad come on so I had to stop. So I'm going to edit the rest of that later on. And I'm going to edit Sundays as well um, for that week and Mondays if I can. Um, I've got hours and hours of footage to catch up on so my priority this week is edit, edit, edit. I also need to edit a video for my other channel that's going to go up tomorrow. Um, and I need to work on a couple of blog posts so... Well, I need to work on a lot of blog posts this week, so I'm just going to concentrate on my online stuff. But for now, I'm going to get on with this post because I have to do it. It is literally 10 to 5. 6, 10 to 6. God, I wish it was 10 to 5. That would be good going, really. Um, I'm literally just about to leave. I've done all my posts. I've had a shower. I've put a little bit of makeup on. And... I've, I'm about to go, obviously I've said that. I'm just about to take something from my stomach because I'm in a lot of pain. Um, yep. 
nothing else to say, I don't have time to talk. I've literally just got home from the sorting office, literally at the time that the last collection is. And I've got a lovely shadow that I can't get rid of. Um, I'm not feeling very well. Um, I'm getting a headache. I'm like, got a stuffy nose. Um, I'm quite dehydrated. Bit of a sore throat, like I had a couple of weeks ago when I felt dreadful for about two weeks. So I'm not too thrilled about that. Um, I'm just about to go in the house and put some dinner on. I'm going to do butternut squash with a couple of potatoes, um, pork medallions, um, something else. I don't know. I'm going to go and have a look what I've got. I'm going to quickly show you something whilst I wait for the oven to put, heat up a little bit and while I sort out the food. Um, the other day I got an email from Feel Unique and it said free Chanel gift bag with a free Chanel purchase. So I thought, oh yes, that interests me very much. So I went on to see if I could potentially get some kind of present for someone for Christmas because at the time I was looking for my mum's main Christmas present which I've since well I sorted last night um so I thought maybe I could like get something for my mum so and keep the gift bag for myself no I was going to buy myself some as well um something small like an item of makeup even though the makeup is pretty expensive I had um a blush by them and I stupidly give it to someone who bullied me for months and months and I gave a to hopefully stop the bullying and I kind of wish I kept it now because it was £32 but anyway um, I went on to feel unique to see what I could get and see because I know my mum was Chanel number five but from what I can remember she has a lot of bottles of it and doesn't really wear it much now so I just went on to see what sort of price we were talking because I don't spend as much on my mum as my dad because me and my mum are not close so I don't spend as much on her. So I wanted her main present to be around the £50 mark. I've also, I've got her other little things and I'll probably pick up a few more things anyway. But um, Chanel perfume's like £70, I think, for the cheapest one that I can, could see. And my mum wears makeup, but she's like... She wears orange lipstick. I mean, I'm not going to buy my mum an orange lipstick. I mean, ugh, there's something wrong with that. So then I saw um, nail polishes and I thought... I'll get her an orange nail polish um, as one of her presents and then keep the gift bag for myself. <laughs> um, no, um, but there weren't any orange ones. I think there was an orange one, but it looked a bit dodgy. It looked like it was, um, it didn't look opaque. It looked like it was like a sheer colour. So I thought, I'm not getting her that because she's just not going to wear that. So um, I just thought, well... I'll get myself something, um, either a lipstick or a nail polish, and I have a lot of lipsticks, I don't wear them all, I've actually put one on today, um, a MAC one, and it's, don't look as good now, I'll come back, but I put on, what did I put on? It's not Velvet Teddy, it's, it's the other one, it's, um, Anyway, it's the other one. Um, so I thought I've got a couple. I've got three Mac lipsticks. Um, it would be nice to have a Chanel one, but I ended up picking a nail polish. And I found it hard to pick the nail polish because there were two that I liked, and there was one obviously I what I loved, and that I wanted the most, and it was a purple one, and it was out of stock. And I thought I could either wait for it to come in stock and risk not getting a Chanel gift bag, or I can get my second choice. So. I bought it Saturday, it's Monday now, and it arrived. This is the nail polish, and it's in that colour 504 Organdi. Um, and to cut a long story short anyway, before I show you the colour, my dad's going to pay for this, he's going to pay me back for it, because I've bought this, and I bought um, a MAC lipstick, and that's why I didn't get the Chanel lipstick, because I've bought another MAC lipstick. 
from the Mariah Carey collection and I didn't know about the Mariah Carey collection until 2am the following day after it had been released and I went on and all I could find was lipsticks and an eyeliner and I didn't want the eyeliner um, I was actually a bit disappointed that I didn't know about the collection because I would have loved one of the lip glosses I think it's called Sweet Fantasy, I think that's the one lip gloss I wanted and there was this amazing highlighter thing, I was just like, I would have got that but all I could get was a lipstick so my dad's going to pay me back for that as well because he said he might as well get me that so the nail polish I got is this um, it's a nude pink which the reason I like this colour is because it's a colour I can wear all year round whereas the purple is more autumn winter and I mean you could wear it any time of the year you wanted and I would but I'm less likely to wear it in the summer so I got this because I knew this is a shade I will wear all year round I don't have anything this colour it's a very nude pink and it will look kind of kind of natural in, in a kind of way on my nails and yeah it's not the oh, and it's got quite a lot of liquid and I'm surprised at that 13ml I actually have a YSL nail polish that my mum got me which I'm making last because you know they're not cheap and that's like a iridescent glitter one so you can wear it on your own and it's very subtle or you can put it on top of things but yeah I am really happy with that and I know I wear it more than the lipstick because lipsticks like I go through favourite ones like I got my I bought three last week and there's two of them that I've been wearing together that I absolutely love and then before that I love my Tanya Burr one so it just depends like on my mood and stuff but here is the gift bag it is absolutely gorgeous I've told my dad to be careful when he's wrapping a nail polish but if you see it size of gift bag to the nail polish but I said be careful with it because I want to frame it I've never had a Chanel gift bag before but I've seen people frame them and put them on the walls just as a um, decoration so I just thought I'm either going to put it on my bedroom wall in a frame or in my office possibly in my office I just think it'll look good so yeah that's what I got um as for what I've got my mum for I nearly said a birthday it is a birthday next month as well I mean it's a bit of a nightmare because <laughs> yeah Christmas then her birthday um I got her a cashmere scarf from John Lewis last night um I wanted to get her a scarf it was either a scarf or a dressing gown, but I think I got her a dressing gown the year before last. And she's probably going to think, this girl's an original, she got me a dressing gown the year before last. But I like dressing gowns. I got one for my birthday, um, that purple one. And not last Christmas, the Christmas before, I got a dressing gown. And... I've got one that I had got four years ago, and it's my favourite one. <laughs> um, so I'm going to throw... Um, the one that I got from not last Christmas, Christmas for because it's rubbish. Um, my ex bought it me as well. Um, so I basically decided on getting her a scarf, and I had my heart set on a cashmere scarf. But my main present limit is around fifty. I mean, I'll stretch to sixty for her, but I have bought her other things like I've got a Yankee candles. I've got a, some um, shower gel set from Caress. I've got uh, some chocolates. And a few other little things and i'll probably buy more but i'm trying to like cut down on how much i spend not because it's my mum but because i'm just trying to cut down and um i was like oh i really want to get her i don't know why i'm getting that out i really want to get her um a cashmere scarf but then i was looking at the price of the cashmere scarf and we're talking about 100 pounds average 80 to 100 and you know you can go upwards and i just was like i can't do that because i've bought her stuff if i hadn't bought her stuff i might have done but then she's only getting one present off me and i like to give a main present and some little ones so i'm like well what, what am i meant to do like i just thought well i'll get her a wool scarf so i went on selfridges last night and i was looking to see what they had and then i spotted this wool scarf by johnson's that i like in um, the colour that I knew she'd like so um, I went on to click on it to buy it and it was out of stock I was like great then I was like trying to look at other colours that I could possibly get her and um, I mean because my stepdad's favourite colour is red she's decided that her favourite colour is red 
Um, but I don't particularly think my mum suits red. She doesn't really wear red clothes though, but she, she does buy red accessories and things. So uh, the original plan was to get her a red scarf, even though, you know, I just, I don't know. But all the, obviously, because of the time of year, red Christmas, um, all the red scarves are out of stock. So I was like looking again and then there was a red tartan one by Johnson's that came with three, um, we could get monogrammed initials on. And I thought that's really nice, but I was looking at it and it's like red tartan. I thought, well, she would wear it, but it's not going to go with much, really. You're going to have to work with black or navy. Basically, I just, maybe dark and dark grey. And she likes to wear bright colours. Um, so I thought well that's not going to go and plus last year I got my dad a tartan scarf which is still not worn, it's in a box, it's by Barber it wasn't cheap, it was wool so I'm not happy that he's not worn that yet so um, I was like looking and I'm like well what, what, what am I going to do like there's no scarves there's cheaper scarves but there's no wool scarves below £50 on Selfridges I've looked on m and um, I've looked on Debenhams I've looked so all of a sudden I just thought, oh, what about John Lewis? And I thought, well, John Lewis is very similar to Selfridges. It's all high-end stuff, you know, it, it's... I'm not going to get a cashmere scarf for £50, but I might get a nice wool one for £50. So I went on and I was looking at the gift guide. Do you know what it says, like, oh, you click on the Christmas section and then it's like, you could put for her. So... I went and clicked on the for her section and there was hundreds of things and I thought I'll go for it, I'm, I'm going to find something on here tonight. Even if it's not a scarf, I'm going to find something as a main Christmas present because it's just doing my head in now. So I was looking through and I'm like a third way down the first page, cashmere scarves. John Lewis own brand, cashmere scarves, £50. I was like, is this for real? Like, that is the cheapest by £30 that I've seen. So I clicked on... And I read the reviews because I thought, I've got to read the reviews. I'm not just buying a £50 cashmere scarf when the next cheapest one is at next for 80 It's just too good to be true. But it had really good reviews. The only thing that the reviews said, some people ordered scarves and online it looked one shade of whatever. But it come and it was much darker. Like someone had bought a baby pink one. And it looked baby pink on screen, but when it came, it was a darker pink. And someone had bought a, t a, bl a blue that they thought was a, a, like a teal colour. And it come and it was like a, a more of a dark green colour. So I was looking, and again, no red scarves in stock. So I know she um, used to wear this blue coat all the time. And I just saw this blue scarf that was similar. And I thought, well, she wore this coat all the time. She must like this shade of blue. So I basically ordered this blue scarf and I think the shade is called light blue um, and I'm hoping it comes and it's similar to what was on screen because if it's any darker it's it's not going to be suitable I'm going to have to send it back which I don't really want to do but if it's lighter I don't mind it being like a tiny bit lighter but it can't be like really pale so I'm hoping it's the same shade that was on screen but I can't believe it was £50 and then it was free delivery because I spent £50 so win win really right i need to chop up this butternut squash right now 